Hi everyone, this is Niketa from Indian Homeschoolers in US. In this video, we are talking about AP exams, how, when, where to register for an AP exam as a homeschooler. The video might also benefit you if you go to a public school, but your school does not offer you the AP exam that you want to take. First thing I want to say is that everything that I'm sharing is through my personal experience, things that we did when we were registering our son for um, the AP exams that are coming up in May 2022. And this is what we had to do and everything that I'm sharing is through personal experience or things that I found out. Um, so let's get started. The first thing uh, you want to do is make a list of all the AP exams that you potentially want to take through the through your high school years. Um, reason for that is, uh, firstly, AP exams are not like SATs, if you didn't know that already. They're not like SATs. They, um, you know, SATs, SAT exams are spread out throughout the year. There are multiple SAT exams that you can take. If you miss one, you can take the next. Uh, no big deal. But S AP exams only happen in May. And the registration for them happens way before. So, um, you know, you don't want to miss that window. You don't want to miss that registration slot because then you lose the year. This thing kind of happened to us last year. We moved uh, into this house in November of 2020. And uh, this time, same time, um, Jan, Feb, I think. Um, I thought, let me register uh, Drew for the AP exam 2021. He was in ninth grade then. So I, I, you know, I looked into the process. I called the schools. I called our local uh, high school. And they said that they've already closed the window for registration. Um, then I tried a lot of other schools, but you know, I did not get any, uh, nobody was open for registration. So I lost, uh, we lost that year, which is not a big deal since he was in ninth grade. So, you know, it was okay. We still had a lot of time. So come September, October, um, okay, let, I thought, let me now at least register him for the May 2022 uh, AP exams this year's. And um, so I called our local high school and we, there were three AP exams that we wanted, he wanted to give. Uh, one is U.S. History, then Intro to Government Politics, Intro to Government and Politics and uh, Comparative Governments. So I called our local high school and they said that we can do the U.S. History and we can do the um, Intro to Government and Politics, but we don't give comparative governments. So. I was, uh, you know, okay, then I said, okay, fine, let's register him for those two. And then I started calling the other schools, but none of the schools, none of the schools were taking out of district kids. And I even called the college board, uh, you know, asked them, what do I do? They said, you have to go through the rut, call all the schools uh, and see if they would allow out of district school. But, you know, no, none of the schools were doing it, especially because of this whole pandemic. I think they have closed the registration for uh, the, uh, for out of district kids. And so we could not find anybody to give him comparative government, but he had another AP that he wanted to take the following year. So we just switched things around and he decided he's going to give uh, environmental science instead of a comparative government. So that's what happened for um, us. So that's why you want to be prepared uh, with a list of AP exams so that you have that bandwidth to shuffle if things don't uh, work out. You know, a lot of schools also, if you don't know, they alternate. Uh, for example, some schools, they might give uh, an AP exam for that subject this year and then they might skip the next year and give the following year because maybe there are not enough kids who are looking for that subject. Uh, so that's uh, that's something I had with one of the schools they would have given, but they were not given compar They were not doing comparative uh, government that year. So that's uh, my first thing I want to say is uh, be prepared, have a list of things so you can shuffle things around. Secondly, when to register. Uh, register, start calling your school uh, when the school opens. My school district, I spoke to them for the 23 um, exams and they said uh, call late September. But you check with your school district, call them now and ask them when do they open the window for the 2023 exams. Because we, uh, when we call them, we register them, the teacher has to the AP coordinator. You need to speak to the AP coordinator. The AP coordinator has to order those tests. So you want to make sure that you get in there uh, in time. I believe they closed down the registrations for November, by November 15th. Um, and I think from November 1st to 15th, they have a late fees. But by November 15th, they closed down the registration. They have already placed the order for all the AP exams that they want to order for their school. So make sure you know you don't miss out that uh, window. 
So call in September. Uh, what I would do is uh, put up a reminder on the phone because see, this is what happened. Even though I missed the opportunity in uh, January of 2021, I did not call them in September. I called them late October and I almost missed the second year. That, uh, Dhruv would have lost a year if I had not got that slot. I mean, so, <laughs> you know, that's my big advice to you guys that make sure you do this on time. Make sure you set up a reminder for yourself. Um, so that's the second thing and where I said, of course, uh, you first thing you do, uh, what you can do is on the college board website, uh, you can uh, enter your this, your zip code and the subject that you want to give AP um, for that year. And that gives out a list of all the high school areas in, in your um, this area, high schools in your area that give that AP exam. So it will make your job much easier. You know who to call. You don't have to call every high school. But the college board, they have by by zip codes, they have the schools that give that particular subject for APs. So you check that. And uh, first bet is, of course, your local high school because they do take, uh, you know, in-district kids for the AP exam. Um, the registration process is very simple. So once you have figured out the school, you call the AP coordinator. I called my AP local AP local high school AP coordinator. She was so nice. Uh, all they, uh, all you have to do is this. They're going to send you two links. Uh, one is the registration and one is the fee. They give you a, a code for the subject that you want to send. So that's the reason you have to call the school because they'll send you a link and you have to enter the subject code. And uh, the process is very simple. The uh, AP coordinator guides you. You cannot do this by yourself. You have to have an AP coordinator send you the link and the, zip, the school code for that particular subject. But it's a simple process once you have figured out the school. Um, so uh, uh, there is a fees attached to it. I don't want to uh, talk about the fees because, you know, that things changes every year. So, um, you know, whatever it was for us is not going to be the same for uh, you guys, I guess. So that's uh, that's about how to register where, uh, as I said, your local high school and when September call them, at least get a date when to call them and then um, call them for that. Uh, that's it. Another things that uh, you might not know is if your kid does go to a public school um, and they want they don't have uh, the AP exam that they want to take, you have to call out of district kids. Or if um, you, your kid wants to give uh, like for for my for us, we have two sons, and the second one goes to his high, uh, goes to a school, and he wants to take uh, one of the subjects a little earlier uh, in the game. So what he would need to do is register as an independent student. Same process, they'll give you a school code, but just registering as an independent student. And I'm sure the AP coordinator will guide you with that. Uh, the other thing, um, as a homeschooler, if you are studying independently or if you are studying as a homeschooler, the AP course that you take, it needs to be college board certified for you to write AP in the transcript. Um, you know, when you are preparing a transcript and if you are writing AP course, if you are going to public school, the AP course has been uh, validated by the college board. But if you're when you're homeschooler, you cannot write um, any uh, subject, any curriculum that you're following as an AP curriculum. There are some curriculums that have been um, validated by as AP. So you need to check when you're looking into curriculums. Uh, if it has been approved by the college board to be an AP um, curriculum for you to write on your uh, transcript. I hope I um, <laughs> explained that properly, but um, yeah, that's what you really need to keep in mind when you're choosing an AP course. And if you plan to uh, put it on the transcript, make sure that it has been certified as an AP course before you put an AP course in. Yeah. So um, that's about it, I believe, and I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, do let me know and uh, we can, you know, take it from there. Have a great one, you guys.